Hello and welcome back to Nats Compares and today I want to talk about Synology Moments, that awesome application with DSM 6.2. Synology Moments is an application that when it first came out was a real game changer for me. The features of Synology Moments, facial recognition, geotagging, uh, geolocational tracking information, all that kind of stuff, smart AI basically uh, with a smart algorithm identifying photos by looking at them isn't new. The things like Facebook and your iPhone and your Android phone have been doing this for a while. But the idea that you can have a closed server system that you can pull the internet from if you so choose that only lets you know, you have access to this media, but at the same time have all of the facial recognition and tagging functionality for retrieval of photos and more, uploading decades of photos onto a NAS and let the system automatically sort them into different locations and types, food, animals, more, all the different targets you can think of, as well as identifying all of your friends and colleagues so it can automatically tag them for retrieval is awesome on a closed system. And what we're going to talk about today is Synology Moment, how it works and why it's awesome. So let's go to the screen. Welcome back. We're continuing our look at the Synology applications on DSM 6.2. On top of that, we are utilizing the brand new Synology DS1618 Plus, as mentioned in the other videos. Just to confirm, as you can see on the screen, 1618 there. And of course, let's bring over here on the info center, 1618 there with a four gig of DDR4 memory and that quad core Intel Atom CPU. So today we're gonna to talk about moments. Probably, I know I, I went a bit over the top about it last year, but for me personally, moments and drive are the two biggest game changing applications that Synology have put out there for a long time. Don't get me wrong, chat is fantastic. The integration with Google Apps and the idea that you can do everything within your NAS with Synology Office and Calendar and of course Active Backup and Virtualization and Virt Synology Virtual Machine Manager. They are great apps, but drive and moments are some really intuitive um, software for users out there that have already got existing data and want to make the most of it. And also, a lot of you, when you saw my videos on Drive and Moments, did highlight the fact that a lot of the things these applications can do, you can already do on the likes of Google Drive or already on your iPhone. But the point is, they utilize a great deal of cloud services. This is the ability to have all of these features that you find on social media like Facebook, uh, via cloud applications like Google Drive and on platforms like Android and iOS, but gives it to you on your own localized NAS storage. So a closed system for yourself and therefore not distributing all your data all over the shop. So let's get started straight away. Let's go straight into the Synology Moment application. Now it is worth mentioning that I've, unlike my previous video based on the Moment Beta, this Synology Moment video will largely be utilizing um, data that I've already filled on the device. So just to give you a bit of background, I have filled this device, let's go into the file station. I've already chucked a great deal of test data inside this device. I've already chucked on all this information. We've got stuff from editing and recordings that I've done for Span TV. We've got documents that I've written for NAS Compares. We've got photos from my own personal um, uh, collection and we've got CSVs and more. So we have different kinds of files. A lot of these we're going to see a lot more in a lot more detail once we look at the Synology Drive application in another video. But today we're going to talk about moments. So straight away, those that are unfamiliar with a lot of the photos you're seeing on screen, a lot of this is from some of the rack station and Netgear uh, racks that I was opening previously, of course. Uh, and by opening, I really do mean taking all the way down to the component level. On top of that, we've got lots of the images and graphics that I use in some of our videos, as long as and as well as some of the recordings that I've done uh, for Span TV and the overlaying graphics and you know some other photos and then of course on top of that we've got pictures from my own personal life and stuff that I've done. Some of these are the same photos that I used from before and that's right that is blockbusters that is a kitten my life is that exciting. So what is it and look at the timeline here on the right hand side what is it that makes moments an interesting application? I'm glad you ask and a lot of you might be thinking why is there a QNAP logo there on a Synology video? Shh, I won't tell them if you don't. So what is it that makes Moment interesting? Quite frankly, it is the fact that it's a much smarter way to access and view your media. Because Synology already had their own dedicated multimedia application in the, in the form of PhotoStation. And in PhotoStation, again, just like um, 
in Moment, you can access individual folders. You've got timelines, you've got all the details, the way you want to view your information, all of that kind of thing. All of the files and folders that we're looking at before are readily accessible once again. But it's the way in which they're done. So the best thing I ever saw on Synology's um, photo station application, I always used to come back to, and again, I know a lot of Apple users and a lot of users um, of uh, a lot of the Google interface of photos will know that you can do a map, which is nice. And they have rolled out a lot of the facial recognition um, into this application, whereby a lot of the um, tag and photo recognition that you find in a lot of more, more day to day applications have been rolled into PhotoStation 6. Bottom line, PhotoStation 6 is a good application, but it's not as good as Moment. In Moment, as mentioned in my previous video, and they've really improved it since the beta, the original beta as well, not only look at that terrible photo of me there, not only have you got the ability now, uh, thanks to the AI, where it looks and finds people's photos and you can assign it pictures. So we'll go with this guy. This is James, or my uh, friend of mine, JD. We're going to type that. And now every photo of JD is now tagged. So if we search for JD, we go back to the original interface. We'll move away from Al. We'll go to there. We'll type in JD and Wallop. That means you could upload 10,000, 100,000, basically all the photos that you own onto your NAS. And there's the Synology. So load it into the Synology. Let uh, the Moment application synchronize and work out and scan all those photos. And thanks to the smart AI, from now on, if you're looking for an individual photo of someone, it will find that person very, very easily indeed. And again, you can see in some cases, the same person has been recognized more than once. And when it does that, it just wants to double check. So you can give the person the same name. Or I can, maybe I could type like a human being. and you can enter the first letter of their name, and that's it. You can merge these people together, and it will now know that all those pictures are of that same person, in this case, someone I know called Katie. So, once again, now all those photos of KE will be rolled in, and from this moment onwards, when you upload more photos, it will go back to the catalog of photos that it's already got in the bank, as it were, and then it will assign that tag to them. Again, I know Facebook's doing this, I know your iPhone's doing it right now, but once again, those are cloud-based systems with small amounts of storage. Having all of this on a closed system where you can just pull the cable out and remove the internet is a big, big deal. But what's interesting is when we look at the subjects, because these subjects are where the photos have been scanned, and thanks to enormous back catalogs of, of uh, stock photos and recognition of stock photos, it learns what things are. So for example, it knows that's a cat. I haven't done these, this is the application itself has built this catalog. And the same goes here for places. It is managed via a combination of landmarks and geotagging. Uh, here we go, uh, geotagging on photos. Because some of these were taken on a smartphone, some of them were not. Some of them were taken with devices that did not have geolocational recording in the metadata taken care of. So it has learned what certain things are. So thanks to that, we can now look up, for example, that word earlier, cat. And remember, I didn't assign the word cat to these photos. The software itself learnt and knows what cats look like. And there's a picture of me with a cat with his ass in my face. But this device has learnt, thanks to stock photos, what individual things are, and therefore has found what they are. So once again, at the moment, those are a number of the subjects. And again, the same thing comes down to food where it's identified certain kinds of food, in this case, hot dog. And again, it's not perfect. Those are pigs in blankets, and it's recognized that as a sausage. So, well, technically that's wrong. But on the other hand, who doesn't like pigs in blankets? Um, same thing goes for pizza. It's identified pizza and an alarming amount of pizza in my diet um, and more. So, again, I'm not going to say that it's perfect. It isn't. Look, for example, farm. That's not a farm. That's just a patch of land in a garden where my wife was growing stuff. Same thing goes for dining picnic this wasn't a picnic let's be honest it was a piss up but bottom line it's still nice that it's managed to identify all these different things um, within that Synology moment application and the idea that you can then recall this information very very quickly indeed is hugely advantageous now 
Once again, for playlist creation, this is fantastic. But once you start rolling these applications into the other apps that arrive on the Synology DSM 6.2 software, again, such as chat, such as calendar, all of the collaboration tools, what you end up with is the ability to not only fast access files, think of it, stop, let's stop thinking about it as a personal point of view and think in terms of business. If you utilize email and um, a central management system a, and a content management system on this NAS, and for example, you've got thousands of stock photos, thousands of different kinds of photos of different things. Once you teach this device what some of those things are, or it uses some of its already pre-designed recognition um, built into the background, you will be able to have a smarter way to access your archive, your collection of photos and video. And again, that's why I'm so impressed with Moments. If anything, since the beta, Synology Moments now is just a lot more fluid, and dare I say it, faster in cataloging. I am using a quad-core Intel CPU, so a lot of that work, the original cataloging and analyzing was quicker. But the original video was done on a DS418J when I used the beta, and it was still really quick indeed. And don't forget that introducing new photos means they will be scanned too. So again, do check out the Synology Moments application, and do check out my next video on Synology Drive. And do remember, Synology Moments, Synology Drive, as well as Synology Chat, and indeed all the applications we talk about in these videos, all have their own mobile application too. Uh, are available for iOS and Android. But thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next video. Not the small town girl living in the Lord. Hello, and thank you for watching Span TV. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click like and subscribe, and don't tell anyone what you saw today. Now check them out, all our videos on Synology, QNAP, NAS, Dan, Son of Old Storage, and all the rest of it. Once again, I can't stress not to tell anyone about what you saw today. Now go away.